a sugar daddy is willing and financially endowed to spoil his woman and he's just older than an average boyfriend. Thirty-seven-year-old Nina Peterson is one of the world's most successful sugar babies. The best part about being a sugar baby is the lifestyle. Vacations every month, not having to worry about paying your bills. Thinking back on this lifestyle, I am certain that it's provided me well over a million dollars. I've had my nose done three times. I've had my boobs done four times. I have had extensions in my hair that were thousands of dollars. I have paid close to $100,000 worth of surgeries. Well, I didn't pay, but. Her most extreme surgery came earlier this year when she tripled her 34D breasts to an incredible 34H. I think they're like eight pounds. I'm addicted to shopping for my new boobs, you know, like just buying a whole bunch of cutesy tootsy stuff from my daddy because he loves it when I dress up. He calls me his little Barbie doll. I love to push those girls up in the air to salute my daddy. But, you know, he's worth it and he rewards me so well, so I can't complain. Pick out a color. All right. Thanks. How about those two colors? You can put this as a base and I then put that as a top coat. I would want a man that pays for everything because, well, because then I don't got to worry and that's a gentleman thing to do. Nina's very open about the sexual side of sugaring. A sugar daddy invests in a woman that he feels has the potential to be an asset in his life. A prostitute is not an asset. Hey, this weekend. <laughs> With being a sugar daddy and a sugar baby, you don't necessarily have to have sex. I mean, with me and my sugar daddy, he had already invested about $30,000 in me before we even had sex. Nina insists that her role actually helps her to keep up with her traditional family values. I think there are a lot of broken families nowadays that could benefit from a mom being available to raise up their children. I'm all for women having equal rights, but that's not what I was born to be. If back in time, <laughs> if I had the opportunity to vote for women's rights, I'm sorry, I know I'm gonna get bashed for this, but I would have rather stay at home. <laughs> I would have rather stay at home. Once I built a trusting relationship with my sugar daddy, then I introduced him to the kids. Anytime she gets money, she likes either take us on vacation, buy its cute dresses, spoils us. Their college is already paid for. They can choose wherever they want to go. My life is wonderful. I'm blessed. I'm too blessed to be stressed over haters. And young Juliana, who is nicknamed Nina's sugar daddy, Santa, has a good idea of what she'd like to see in her future. I know we live in a big, beautiful home, but what I'm wishing is that we live in a big, beautiful home, mom's a top sugar baby, and that she gets married to Santa. Nina's camera shy sugar daddy is treating her so well that the 37 year old plans to move on to a new venture. He's basically retired me from sugaring. He spoils me. Anything I want, I get. If my children came to me and decided that they wanted to be a sugar baby or pursue that lifestyle, then I would support their decision. I would have a sugar baby academy with younger sugar babies to groom young ladies. I don't see any shame in being considered a bimbo. I think a bimbo is a free, enthusiastic, scintillating, beautiful, happy, boisterous young woman. I don't want to be normal. I don't want to be basic. I don't even think I'm human. I believe that I'm part alien, and I believe that I came to this earth to do incredible things. I just couldn't live a basic lifestyle.